Hello students, welcome to short of classes. So this question is from ISI MSTAT paper of 2022. So the question number 9 is saying that let S be the set of all real numbers A such that the matrix M 1 minus 2 8A has no real eigenvalue. Then which of the following option is true? You have to find that. So the characteristic polynomial of M will be determinant of M minus lambda I. So we have to find the determinant of this 1 minus lambda minus 2 8 and it will be A minus lambda. So if we find the determinant of this it will be simply 1 minus lambda so we can write it also here so it will be simply 1 minus lambda a minus lambda plus 16 right so if we simplify it further it will be multiply these two so lambda square minus lambda a minus lambda plus a plus 16 so from here we can simplify this lambda square so if we take lambda out it will be 1 plus a lambda and it will be a plus 16 okay so then that lambda if is not an element in the real space okay so if lambda is not an element in the real space so we have this one uh, it's b square minus 4ac will be less than 0 so in that case we will represent that 1 plus a squared minus of 4 of a plus 16 it is less than 0 so it will be a square plus 2a plus 1 minus of 4a minus 64 less than 0 so it is a square minus of 2a minus 63 which is less than 0 right so now if we do this so it will be a product of a plus 7 and a minus 9 which is less than 0 so from here we can say that a is an element in this interval minus 7 comma 9 so the subset s will equal to minus 7 comma 9 so the correct option in this case is d where s is equal to minus 7 comma 9 question number 10 so let m be a set of all m by n matrices so we have to find which of the following statement is false so we will go check with the option first so in the option a so a b is equal to an identity matrix that is i so if we find the determinant of a b which is determinant of the identity matrix so it will be equal to 1 or we can write this determinant of A multiplied by determinant of B is equal to 1 so from here we know that B is invertible right now B A if we find this B A can be written as B A of B B inverse so rearranging this we can write B of A B of b inverse which is nothing but b in b inverse because a b is the identity so here it is uh, b b inverse okay which is simply the identity that is i okay so option one is correct uh, if and only if b a is equal to i so b is also invertible we find that and for all a b in this 
AB belongs to this matrix set of matrix A. Okay. Now check out the option B. We have this determinant of AB can be written as determinant of A multiplied by determinant of B. So it can be also written as determinant of B multiplied by determinant of A or determinant of B A. Right? So the second option is also correct. So let's check with option 3. Option C. So we have this trace of A B okay, is equal to we have summation of i equal to 1 to n summation of j equal to 1 to n a of i j and b of j i which can also be written in the form that summation of j equal to 1 to n then summation of i equal to 1 to n so that is b of j i a of i j right so which is nothing but the trace of b a so the option uh, c is also correct so let's check with option d now so in the option d we have been given that rank of a b should be equal to rank of b a for all a b belongs to the m so now take a as a matrix of 0 0 1 0 and b as a matrix 1 0 0 0 so now a b if it is a multiplied a b so it will be 0 0 1 0 uh, multiplied by 1 0 0 0 which is simply 0 1 0 0 so that is a b equal to a so we can find that rank of a b is equal to rank of a which is simply 1 right now if we want to find that b a so b a will be 1 0 0 0 and 0 0 1 0 so if you multiply this we will have 0 0 0 so the rank of then b a is nothing but rank 0 so which is not true so our case this rank of a b is not equal to rank of b a which is the incorrect option over here so option d is the false statement